If you're interested in breweries in Bluffton, uh, my name is John Weber. I am a associate broker with Charter One Realty, and this is Low Country Connect. I show everyone different things in Bluffton and Hilton Head Island, uh, so you can connect down here. Please subscribe to the channel, that helps the channel. And uh, I'm on uh, a quest to find the perfect beer in, in Bluffton. Uh, uh, we're here at Southern Barrel, it's fantastic. Drinking a beer, which is really, really good. And it's like a little subculture here in Bluffton. All the breweries, so craft beer. So let's get to it. So I'm meeting a friend of mine, uh, David. Hi, David. Hi, Ashley. And we're meeting at uh, Buffalo Wild Wings, I think, maybe a month or two ago. And I order a beer, and he orders a damn Yankee beer. And I said, what's that? Damn Yankee. He goes, oh, it's from Southern Barrel. I said, what Southern Barrel? And so he explained Southern Barrel right here. Um, all about the craft beer situation in Bluffton, of which I knew nothing about. And the more I got into it, there's quite a few craft beer breweries in Bluffton and on the island of Hilton Head. So I said, hey, that could be a pretty cool video because the beer was great. And so I thought I would start this video by going into um, uh, Southern Barrel. And this is probably, I think, maybe the biggest one, but the beer's great. And this craft beer industry is really a big deal in the United States. Everywhere you go, it's craft beer. I personally don't like light beer, Bud Light and all that. I just don't like it. So the craft beer has a lot of taste. And so I thought I'd do a video on the, the Bluffton breweries, even though one of them is on Hilton Head Island. So that said, let's go in and take a look. So before I go in, it'd be a good idea to tell you where this is. We're right off Buck Walter Parkway, which is really becoming quite a major road in Bluffton. And when you drive in, there's a Kroger down here, which I've been told is the fourth largest Kroger in the United States. Uh, there's an Ace Hardware. There's a fantastic bowling alley here. There's a cancer center here, but this is in the back. So it's a super popular area right off Buck Walter uh, Parkway. So I'm in here drinking a damn Yankee craft beer um, Southern Barrel Brewery right here in Bluffton and it's actually really good. Got a little citrus taste to it. It's just the opposite of light beer. It's got some flavor to it. Really, really good. All right, I'm not going to go to Hilton Head Island right now, but the brewery on the island is called Hilton Head Brewery. Same type of thing, craft beer. Here's another one in Bluffton called Lot 9. Hard to find, to be honest with you, but it is in Bluffton. If you just search Lot 9, you'll find it. But the first time I came here, I said, what? Where is it? Next on the list, Burnt Church Distillery. This is a very cool place. You can also get uh, pizza here, which is excellent. It's in a, an adjoining building. And uh, I, I went in here right off the bat uh, a couple of years ago when it opened uh, because I went to school in Kentucky and wanted to learn about their bourbon, what are they doing. Apparently they brought a certain strain, and that's probably not the right word, of bourbon, and started it here. They brought it all the way from Kentucky. They've got a big deal going in here. It's really, really attractive. And uh, Bobby Flay was in here recently and had a private dinner, which is extremely cool. And um, the Secession Oak is on display in here. And I'm going to shoot some video in here, and I don't know many restaurants that have half of it like a museum. It's a museum of the area. The Secession Oak apparently 
Um, South Carolina was the first state to secede from the Union, and they signed that declaration under a giant oak tree, which was hit by lightning and burned down, but they grabbed a big chunk of it, and it's in here, which is pretty cool. They've got a gift shop in here, and bourbon, and beer, and all kinds of things. So it's really, really cool. So let's go check this out. This is the Secession Oak, part of it anyway, and it just happens to be in the Burnt Church Distillery. Uh, very, very cool. And you can see right over here, they're going to have an event. This is like a little museum in here, and you can obviously see they're going to have an event of some kind. And then over here, this is like a gift shop. I mean, it's very cool. There's a lot of really neat things in here, and the bourbon's excellent. So, Burnt Church Distillery, really good. This is Sun City people right here. You can recognize them. <laughs> That's great. Super. You're going to be in the next one. So I'm at Lot 9 having uh, a beer here also, quite different than the last one. I'm going to get wasted making this video. So you know when you watch YouTube channels and they always say, uh, you know, we, we if you click on the link below, there is a little bit of a kickback, um, affiliate marketing, they have a little link down there and they're selling something and it goes to Amazon and they pay the, the YouTuber money. Um, I'm sponsored by nobody and there are no kickbacks. And the only money that we make, the John Weber team, is through commissions. So it's really, really great when people call us from these videos and we take them out and we sell them their dream home. And that's the only money that we make is commissions. So I just thought I'd throw that in a little bit because, I mean, don't get me wrong, we love the viewership and people calling and contacting us, and we do. We make a lot of sales to people on Hilton Head Island and Bluffton. But there, I, there is no other way to make money for us. So it's real estate law. So you can't, uh, if you get any kind of kickback, you've got to disclose it. So, and I'm disclosing zero. So anyway, come down and see us, the John Weber team. If you want to go out and hit the breweries, we'll do that too, because there's some really cool places. And I think you can see that on this video. So come down, visit uh, the John Weber team in the Low Country, and we'll find your dream home. We'll have a little beer, a little beer first. Come see us.